we keep coming back to this place? You know why, Marcus. We're all this place has got. Who else is going to stand up to the Phantom? Principal Mulligan? <laughs> morning, Principal Mulligan. Oh, good morning, kid. That was some plague of locusts we had the other day, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm sure I have no idea what you're talking about, Billy. I'll say it again. There is no phantom. This school is clean. Clean, I tell you. Yeah, no thanks to you. See what I mean? The guy's in total denial. We're on our own. It's us against him. Earl P. Sidebottom. Why is it so hot? It's like a boiler room in here. Just trying to set the right mood, Phantom. Well, don't. I don't need your hackneyed effects to strike a mood. I have this, a device capable of reorganizing the basic molecular components of any environment into anything I desire. She's a beautiful Earl. Don't ever call me Earl! I am the Phantom! A thousand pardons, Phantom. Phantom! Why I kept you from the septic tank and empowered you with the gift of logic and reason, I'll never know. I figured it was because talking to yourself would look kooky. Yes, we wouldn't want that. Goodness knows you've suffered enough. Why, if it wasn't for that sea and shop, lo, those many years ago, you'd be out there conquering the world. A captain of industry, driving a hot little import. A captain of industry. Instead of hold up down here, all bitter and spiteful and sickly pale from lack of sunlight. So, how are you gonna make them pay today? Will it be a hailstorm in history class? A giant German gym? A tsunami in science? <laughs> Patience, my pet. My lesson for today evolves apace. What? I'm working on it! Uh, our topic for today, class, is one we can really sink our teeth into. Dinosaurs! The bigger they were, the harder they fell. <laughs> so far, so good. Maybe Earl decided to take the day off. And as a special treat, today's lesson will take the form of a popular quiz show. The student who answers the most questions goes home with this. <laughs> awesome! Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Win it for me! Win it for me! A battle of wits with unarmed opponents? It's not even sporting. Oh, please! Oh, all right. I'll take great joy in humbling them with my superior mind. For two hundred, Alex. If you know the answer, please buzz in using the mouth sound of your choice. <laughs> you may test your buzzers now. Yo. Oh, very good. The first question is. When did dinosaurs rule the Earth? Yay! 65 million years ago. Uh, 65 million years ago? Oh, very good, Billy. Were dinosaurs warm-blooded or cold-blooded? Ah! Ruby Snarkis. Cold-blooded. Ah! Trick question. Sorry, that has yet to be determined. Next. Dinosaurs used these to stay balanced. Ah! Ruby? Fred Smurts is eating again. Fred, uh, do you have the answer? No. Didn't you just buzz <laughs> in? Oh, oh, what oh, that's so gross. Moving on. Ding! Dinosaurs kept their balance with their tails. That's right. 
Something's wrong with my buzzer. Really? Let's have a look. Ah! All fixed. The Pachycephalosaurus's ten-inch-thick skull gave it this amusing nickname. Yo! <laughs> Johnny! Thick Skullosaurus? Yeah! yeah. Ah! Oh. Not quite, Johnny. Oh, bonehead. That's right, Billy. Oh, at top speed, a Tyrannosaurus could run this fast. Ding! 70 miles an hour. Oh, curse my deficient thumbs. Very good, Lydia. What cataclysmic event caused the dinosaurs to become extinct? Ah! Well, the popular theory is that a giant meteor struck the Earth, throwing huge dust clouds into the atmosphere, which circled the planet and blotted out the sun's nurturing rays for years and to... And please be specific, no. Lydia! Killed by extreme climate change! Ah! That's right! No fair! Brevity has no place in science! Kept balance with their tails? Bonehead? Extreme climate change? Marcus, you got every question right. Why aren't you buzzing in? Uh, I, I don't feel like playing. But you're the smartest kid in class. You didn't skip all those grades for nothing. What if I said the wrong thing? It's okay, I'd rather just watch. You need one answer to tie the Lopez girl. It's not that it matters, for it's not whether you win or lose. It's how you... Ah! Quiet! I can't hear! I hold in my hand the final question. What is... The name of the Flintstones dinosaur pet? Ah! Uh, uh, Rex, T-Rex, Rover! Dino! The Flintstones' pet was Dino! Oh, congratulations! Dino? Who is Dino? Good answer! And in the form of a question, too! Lydia is our dinosaur expert! Oh, <laughs> come on up and get your prize! <laughs> no! I smell a rat. I know more about dinosaurs than all of them put together. I teach them a lesson about dinosaurs they'll never forget. <laughs> I think Earl is angry. Hold on to your butt. Visual aid! Uh, can anyone tell me its name? T-Rex. T-Rex! That's right! Nice to finally hear from you, Marcus! I just saw a lizard in the hall. You better get Buford on it. Uh, Earl is angry. And some kids think school is dull. Did you see that back there? Poor Mrs. Snodgrass. Are you kidding? Poor T-Rex. Fascinating skeletal structure. You really should see this. <laughs> As you can see by its streamlined chassis, this puppy was built for speed! That ain't right. Tormenting a poor, dumb animal? Delays, delays. Someone your own size! Billy! After you! Well, nice 
work, Billy. It's what I do. Old Earl's really done it this time. Uh, he, he's turned the whole school into a setting straight out of the Mesozoic era, uh, specifically the late Triassic to early Jurassic periods. Flying dino prehistoric high! <laughs> Well, we can't stop Earl stuck in here. We've got to get past that T-Rex somehow. But a T-Rex can run like 70 miles an hour. I know, I won a contest. <sighs> what we need is a diversion. Ruby, do your stuff. I guess you could say they were making a clean getaway. <laughs> you can run, but you cannot ride. Big Brother is watching. <laughs> something. Uh, well, uh, there are ways. So, spit it out. Oh, I, 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 I rather not say it's too far-fetched. Marcus! <sighs> okay, okay, uh, we know that some dinosaurs met their fate in swollen rivers and tar pits. Hello? The school doesn't have a tar pit. It doesn't even have a decent juice bar. That's entirely true, but it does have a pool. Uh, may we have 60,000 packages of instant oatmeal, please? Is it for you? Actually, it's for him. Ah! Um, call me Cranky? But how can a giant bowl of cereal possibly save us from a five-ton monster? Um, you guys... I'll field that question. Uh, you, you see, Ruby... Time's up, kids. Our company is here. Let's hope this works. that a closet intellectual like Marcus would possess the confidence to even voice such a far-fetched idea. Impressive. Impressive, yes. Satisfying from a purely vindictive revenge standpoint? No. Marcus, my man. Way to go, little bro. <coughs> Will you come down? They're herbivores. Herbivores? Vegetarians. Oh, phew. Uh, no, 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 this this isn't good. I, I didn't account for this. We gotta get out of here now! They're harmless. They're off red meat. Uh, in the same way that the herbivores were drawn to the oatmeal, carnivores will be drawn to the herbivores. Carnivores? Meat eaters! <gasps> nice going, Marcus. Why didn't you just ring the dinner bell instead? I shouldn't have said anything. It's all my fault. I can't look. Psych! <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. Next time, keep your dumb ideas to yourself, Marcus. Oh, please let there be a next time. Hey, guys, I think there's a door here. <gasps> Snack. You want anything? 
You may have saved yourselves, but you'll never save your precious school! <laughs> what? What? What'd I miss? <laughs> you hear that? He thinks he's won! What are we gonna do? All we have to do is get rid of the dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, and for an encore, we'll cure the common cold. Or we can super wax the floors. And hope the dinos slip right outside? Marcus, my man, we need you. Any ideas? After what just happened, we'd be better off if I just kept quiet. That Snarkis kid worries me. He's now slouch in the frontal lobe department, if you catch my drift. Too true. But my worthy opponent lacks the one component bestowed upon all great men of intellect. Confidence. Isn't that right, Marcus? Leave him alone, Earl. This is a private party. No creeps allowed. Ah! I've lost the picture. Get up there and find out what they're doing. Up there? With the dinosaurs? And me smelling of sliced meat? I know how you're feeling, pal. But so what if the oatmeal thing backfired? I shouldn't have said anything until I was sure it would work. He got us off the endangered list for a while. That's why you should never be afraid to voice an idea, Marcus. It's like acting. You can't win the big part if you don't try. Sometimes you've just got to go out on a limb. Take a chance. See what happens. So from now on, if you have an idea, I want to hear it. No matter how crazy I say it sounds. Okay. An ice age. Did you say an ice age? Hey, if Marcus says we can create an ice age, then we can create an ice age. Uh, no, we can't. But we can do the next best thing. Me and Marcus will get to work. You guys find a way to keep Earl off our backs. How are we supposed to do that? Come on, what's taking so long? <laughs> Damsels in distress. Now that's entertainment! Ah! Ah! Come on, attack! Boo! Ah! Ah! Wait a sec. It's a trick, Earl. It's just a toy and a little Hollywood trickery. No! Almost finished overhauling this motor. How are you doing? Great. Uh, I'm rerouting all the power from a five block radius directly into this unit. <laughs> it's now or never, pal. It was your idea. You do the honors. I hope this works. And if it doesn't, <laughs> at least we did our best. We just souped up the school's air conditioning system. Welcome to the Ice Age. Oh, where are they going in such a hurry? Dinosaurs are used to warm climates. They're instinctively heading for the warmest place in the school. The, the boiler, boiler room. room! The boiler room? Boy, I sure wouldn't want to be in there right about now. Ah! I hate those I see our lizard problems have been solved. Nice work, Bifford. Now, let's dial down that air conditioning, shall we? Yeah. Oh, you left that to me. Oh, look at that. Boy, all that excitement sure gives you an appetite. Dig in, Rube. Aren't you hungry? Me? Eat dinosaur? Why not? They were gonna eat us. Come on, Ruby, go for it. You won't know for sure if you don't try. Words to live by, eh, Marcus? Chalk up another one for the good guys. And another entry into the files of flying rhino. Phew, that's all for me. I bet old Earl has had his fill of dinosaurs for a while, too. <laughs> Ready? 
Magic is my computer. It'll take weeks to repair. Don't despair, Phantom. Most of these dents will hammer right out. An adjustment here, a reboot there. Rascus, no, you don't know what you're doing. Stop before you... Wrong command. No problem. Ah! Almost had it that time. Hang on, Earl. I, I, I mean, Phantom. Rascus! Has anybody seen that manual?